Hello, my name is Brittany and I'm going to give you a tour of the basement of Vet Tech Institute. Start at Loading Dock, where you take out the poopy crates, spray them down with the hose, make sure everything's clean, scrub them. Let's go through here, place the grates here, spray them down, make sure they're clean, get all the poop off. And then you'll walk through this door, Hey! Walk through this door. Right in here is the quarantine area where there's also the hose that you use to spray down the crates and the rocks to keep the doors propped open. <laughs> right here is quarantine isolation. There's only a few kennels in here because mostly dogs go into quarantine, which is behind you. This is basically storage room for now. Here's the quarantine leashes that you only use for the quarantine dogs, harnesses as well if there are any. Sanitary station, gloves. And then in here, it is quarantine. You walk in, trash can right here, paper towels, medium sized kennels, more medium sized kennels. And then back over here, which are the smaller, I mean the larger kennels, all the way down. So after you come out of quarantine, this is where you'll grab your poop bags when you're walking the dogs. This is the alarm station for when you're a husbandry leader and you have to lay everybody in. This is the start of food prep area where we have canned food for dogs, canned food for cats, hello again. <laughs> Dry food, they'll be labeled puppy, adult, small bites, the label. Here's the label, you gotta put the name of the food, the day you opened it, the day it expires, and the lot number, also with your initials. Here we have the dry cat food, as well as the moralysis that you sprinkle over the dry food. The sink that we do not use, here's some more paper towels, a little cart, trash can, medication refrigerator with all the meds and water and stuff here is the dry dog food small bites with the same exact labels for everything else and then all stages and then here we have little cups that we use to measure out people's people's food dogs food, cat food as well and then in this little box we have the food cards that tell us what to feed the dogs or cats Hey Yoshi, here's the board where anybody, if they want to change the food, they would erase what they have here, change it, make sure it looks correct. Here is the microwave, if you, the dog has to have his food warmed up. This is where you put the wet food after you've opened it because it always expires three days later. That's a really good tip for you guys. Royals. Uh, <laughs> just put the wet food in there, make sure you label it correctly, which you'll probably learn later. And then, after you pass the fridge, you walk into the main kennel where cat quarantine is, or cat isolation actually. Only two little cat cages in there. Hi, and hello, I'm Yakira Watson. I go by Yoshi. Um, this is where we keep all our litter and dog food and everything in here. Here's the sink where we wash um, the dogs for assignment, like a tech assignment. Um, this is a scale where we weigh them, and we do that on Sundays when we're in husbandry. Uh, here is the machine where you load up the mop bucket and everything, and also the Axel bottles. Here is where you um, do all your charting, online charting for husbandry. Um, here is your dust pans and uh, brooms, <laughs> and here's the backpack rack. Um, here's the uh, dog toys where you have the Kongs and you have like, the little chewy toys and ropes and stuff. Um, here's where you sign in for husbandry. And there's like a hand sanitizer dispenser. Uh, here's the charts where we manually write down the stuff for the animals. So this drawer is where we um, have pepper spray that we need it for in the morning for husbandry. And also we put our phones in there because you can't be on your phone when you're in husbandry. Um, Hi, I'm Maya. So I'm going to show you um, all the stuff for main kennel. 
This is the board that we use, this is the cat board, and then there's a dog board right over there we're gonna pass by. It's just only for doctors and teachers to run on. So it's like new medication or change of prescription or things like that. In this drawer we have like the stickers. So these are the ones that we put in the binder as well as the food stickers. Um, they go by color coding, so like um, blue is like no bedding, and certain ones mean like, um, like water bowl, no spill, things like that. Um, here's the board for the dogs. So for example, it has up here, like if it has Giardia on there, or a new treatment, or ringworm, things like that is on here. Uh, and here is where we have medical supplies. So this is where you keep other things, like tongue um, depressors and things like that. Um, down here we have the, all the dog food bowls, all the cat bowls, all the bowls are down here. So during a husbandry, we'll switch the bowls out during the day. Anything you need is in here. And here we have the Excel bottles. So everything that we refill, like for doing husbandry or to clean, anything we clean with is with Excel. Uh, here's the dog treats in here. There are muzzles and collars in here. And then right over here, we have um, the hanging leashes. So these go by like a certain uh, brand. So like these are the regular leads, the quarantine leads, um, extra um, stretchable leads, and then we have like harnesses. So dogs that have harnesses, or oh, So in here, we're gonna go in, it's gonna be dog board. So okay, really loud in here. So in here we have small kennels, we have large kennels, large dog kennels are here. And then over here we have extra great kennels for your place. Over there we have the we have the poop basket, non hoop basket. And then on this side, extra paper towels, poop bags, and the extra holes. You use it during husbandry to rinse out all the time. four kennels in here. Um, no one's in here right now. So, my name's Evelyn. Welcome to VTI. This is Muñeca. Oh, this is Muñeca. <laughs> this is Wendy Espinosa. Um, so this is our blackboard and what's posted here is generally your husbandry list. So when you go, you have your listing for when you have enrichment and the dogs who need to be adopted and cats need to be adopted get listed here in any Extra announcements are listed on this board by Mr. Specs or any of the instructors. Okay, bye. Oh. Bye. bye. <laughs> so when you come down here, you're gonna see that there's stations throughout the hallway. So we always gonna have generally have paper towels, spray for when the dog uh, defecates in the hallway. That way it smells good. You have a cell and poop bags to clean up. And then right here, we have our fish bowl. So we have students who like to come in here to study and while they're studying they like to enrich an animal whether it be a cat or a dog. So if you want any free time, you come down here, chill. So over here, the more we walk down, we have the stairwell that goes upstairs. And we have the fountains and then here's your main point area. So over here we have laundry rooms. So this is where you keep the towels, some rags, the mop buckets, the mop heads, and everything else. So whenever you're doing husbandry and you're doing laundry, the only thing on this machine you touch is the green button to start it. And then once the load is done, you're gonna open the bottom, clean out the lint. Every time you do a load, you're gonna open it, clean out the lint, and then put a new load, one dryer sheet for each load. And then we have these signs in here that will tell you whether it's dry and ready to be folded or if it's clean and ready to be dried. 
That way the husband's routine knows what's what and it's not dirty wet laundry. So you have your washing machine here. Basically the only things we're going to touch on this machine is the start button and then this button you're going to hold it down while you push this to open up the machine. And it's going to be one scoop of bleach and or one fourth cup of bleach and one fourth cup of detergent. The detergent's going to go on the left and the bleach is going to go on number two. And then back here we have the sink which is going to hold the mop head. The bucket that goes outside from whenever you wash the crate. So you come back here, grab it, and then you're gonna grab your brushes that go out there. And so this is where all the dirty laundry is kept by either husbandry, surgery, or whatever's been used in the classroom. Down here you have the small rags, and then you have the cat beds over here. You have the rags and towels over, I mean, the big towels over here, and then you have your blankets and your bedding over here. And then behind this door you have the mop sticks and the mop buckets and then you have all your wet caution floor signs that need to be put out during the husbandry.